Apple Vision Pro into pieces. Here's how it looks like from the inside. The world of VR headset enthusiasts has already come across tiny fragments of the internal components of the Apple Vision Pro, revealing how the class-leading mixed reality headset looks from the inside. Earlier disclosures made it clear that the Vision Pro is equipped with not one, but two different kinds of lightning-esque connectors. However, a more detailed and insightful revelation was much awaited. And here, the fantasy has come to life, as iFixit has committed a teardown of the Apple Vision Pro, unveiling its connectors, screens, and fans in a YouTube video. Having thoroughly examined iFixit's Vision Pro breakdown, GAD Insider is here to address your concerns, such as what contributes to its weight and which component is the hardest to replace, and etc. The teardown makes it clear that disconnecting those buff lightning connectors for the battery cable and strap arms is very easy, as it only requires a SIM ejector. The inner workings of the iSight feature, which displays a simulator version of the user's eyes, have been revealed. A special filter utilizes lenticular lenses and film to produce a 3D effect, allowing onlookers to see the correct image from different angles, though with reduced brightness due to the filtering process. iFixit CEO Kyle Wiens shared a tweet showcasing the Vision Pro and its screen without the outer layers, revealing the cameras and sensors located around the periphery. Although the video is brief, iFixit has promised to release more content, stating that the headset is too complex to cover in just one video and teasing a deeper dive into its inner workings in a future release. Additionally, Wallpaper Magazine previously published an image of the Vision Pro's internal components as part of an exclusive design interview with Apple's Vice President of Software Design, Alan Dye, and Hardware Design, Richard Howard. He maintained that Apple designed the Vision Pro with a lot of flexible materials and soft textures like the Solo Knit Band so that people wouldn't only feel physically comfortable wearing it, but also enjoy wearing it around others too.